morning all i thought i would have a little bit of a talk this morning about zucchinis there's been a fair few questions that have come up about not getting fruit and not getting pollinated and and this part of things so i thought i'd break it down a little bit for you in a quick bit so i'm ruth from ravenshoe and i'm a cedarholic don't hold it against me but these zucchinis here have got the perfect example for you now when i grow zucchinis Zucchinis are heavy feeders, so they're grown on those animals that you hear behind me, their poo, um, with a big heap of hay on top, and then I plant my zucchini seeds straight into it. Um, I have to cover it with a cage because we have chickens that I let out in the afternoon. They scratch around, and I don't like them scratching near my zucchinis. So this morning, I'll show you these zucchini plants. So the first flowers that I see, I pull off because I want the zucchini to concentrate on putting its roots down into the soil and getting strong. Um, and then once they get to this size, then I let them to start to fruit and flower properly. So you'll see male flowers and female flowers um, and the bees or pollinators, whatever you've got all yourself, have to take pollen from the male flower and put it in the female flower as early as possible in the morning. So the flowers open with the sunshine and then you come out and you pollinate your flowers if you want to pollinate in the afternoon as well you can but it's basically bees come out very early in the morning as soon as there's light on the box the bees are out of their hive um, and they go to the most nutritious flowers first um, and then they pollinate those and then they come and do our other garden plants as well so i'll shut flip this video around so as you can see these are zucchinis they've got a pretty pattern on the leaf and this flower here, this is a male flower, so it's got a long stem and it's got no bulbous growth down here. And it's got a single stamen right in the middle of the flower. And then if we move over here through the leaves, this is a female flower. So you see it has multiple stamens and it has this bulbous growth at the bottom. Now if you're growing round zucchinis, that those bulbous bits will be round. If you're growing a nice long zucchini, they'll be this oblong shape. Trombone chinos have a longer stem and a little bulbous bit at the bottom. And you can see this one here has dropped its flower. So it got pollinated yesterday. And you can see the inside bit, if I tear that carefully. My camera focuses. You can see they're still yellow, but they're done and finished. Now I pick up those bits just because I don't like to attract other bugs and insects. You can see this one's the same. That's a female flower that opened this morning. This is a female flower that closed. I can gently take that off. So that one's been hasn't been pollinated. See how it's starting to go yellow? That one there I know hasn't been pollinated properly. And then this is a little tiny baby female flower coming through. And each branch segment where each leaf comes off you'll see another little flower so they tend to throw male flowers here at the back at the base of the plant is where the, the male flowers grow and then the female flowers grow with along with the vine at the front of it so i hope that helps everybody now if you have bossman rot so where they, you know they're getting pollinated, but the flowers and the fruit still go yellow and drop off. And the end of the zucchini will go black or a monkey brown. That means you don't have enough calcium in your soil. Um, if your leaves are going yellow, it means you don't have enough iron in your soil or magnesium. So you can adjust those by spraying it with a bit of milk or a good liquid fertilizer. These ones are all pretty good at the moment. Uh, but I will top them up with a bit of soured milk when we do have the humidity set in and then we get powdery mildew. So I hope that helps everybody. I uh, kept it nice and short for you today. And it's the same style of theory with the pollination, the female flowers and the male flowers, with all your marrows. So your cubits, marrows, whatever you like to call them. So pumpkins, cucumber, zucchinis, um loofers all this sort of thing have the same style of flower so you can see one flower has one stamen and no fruit at the base and then the female flowers have the
the fruit at the base or the bulbous stem to the flower and then the flower and morning pollination is always best now if you're worried about cross pollination what i do is i will like for instance if i find one that i want to this one here is a good example so this one here will probably open tomorrow i would actually put a little tiny peg on the front of that flower to stop it from opening and i would put a little peg on this male flower from another plant with the same thing i'd just put a little peg on it and then early in the morning i would come and check it take the stamen from that boy flower put it into this girl flower and then peg it shut and that just means nothing else but me can pollinate that flower and then that is the flower that i'll save the fruit that i'll save for seed and i'll put a little ribbon just here at the base not tight but just as a marker saying that is the fruit that i'm saving for seeds so no one picks it all like these zucchinis i could even put a flag right on this leaf and i know this leaf is the one that marks that fruit which is the one that i'm saving for seed because they do cross pollinate um this zucchini here you can see actually has a branch coming off um i will normally trim that branch just because i find that they're just more of a pain than anything else because i like nice airflow through my zucchini bushes so i hope that helps everybody a little bit of information for you love to you all